yesterday's debacle, I climbed this little beech tree, got all of the uh, cutting off of the branches, but I didn't get to the top. For today's debacle action, I'm going to climb and uh, cut that off. The top probably weighs around 150, maybe 200 pounds tops, but uh, I really don't want it landing on me. The tree has a distinct lean in that direction. All the way to the top is kind of over in that direction, so it's not directly on top of me, but it is going that way. So when I get up there, I'm going to try to notch it to get it to go that way rather than on top of me. And I'm going to try to crap around to the side a little bit to make sure that it's clear. The uh, wood is kind of weak up there, so to make sure that as I cut it, because it is leaning, I'm going to wrap it so that it won't split and uh, try to run down and grab my line. So I'll be uh, reinforcing it just a little bit, tying uh, one of my lines around it to make sure that it doesn't uh, come apart even if it does split a little bit. So let's see how it goes. Okay.
With this series I'm trying to cover both what I learn as a new climber and trying to cover some of the little tidbits that you may not see covered in some of the uh, real climbers uh, videos. Uh, for myself I learned that I need to do a better job at estimating what's up there. My tie-in was on a branch that I thought was significantly bigger than what it was and that was not a good outcome. Another thing I learned is that you have to choose where your safety line is going to be. On a small tree you're trying to hook in with your spurs down here and if your line is hanging centrally that's right in the way of where you're trying to spike and you really don't want to spike through your climbing line. So with a small tree what you probably want to do is have your climbing line hang outside of your lanyard. So if you're working in here you want your uh, climbing line coming down and fastened to your belt but you want the tail hanging outside so that it's not interfering with where you're trying to spike in. On a big tree just the opposite would be the case. Your legs are going to be spiking in wide on the tree and you want your safety line to be hanging between them so that uh, you're spiking on either side of it and it's okay in that middle position. So if we look at this setup, because this is a narrow stem I'm climbing, my lanyard is also narrow. It's uh, coming from my hips in towards the tree and that means this is a narrow space here. So if I want to tend my slack, I have to reach down into all this mess grab hold of it to pull it up. So that's an issue. And then the other issue is depending on where the rope is hanging, it's down between my legs when I'm trying to spike. And uh, if the rope just happens to get right, it's going to be in the narrow part I want to spike. So I'm going to do it a different way. Instead, what I'm going to be doing is having my climbing line hang outside of my lanyard. That way it'll be over here and I can spike in here without worrying about catching it. The one problem with that, or at least the one apparent problem with that, is that's also where I like to hang my saw. So when I'm going up, my saw will just be dangling there, I won't be using it. And I will advance my, my way up into the tree. I want it on this side because that's where my dominant hand is and uh, I want to be able to just grab it easily without any interference trying to get to it. So with the narrow stems this is definitely going to be a plus. When I get up into the tree and I'm ready to start cutting, then I'm going to have to switch over and probably use something other than this uh, adjustable lake hitch. I'm going to go back to the uh, bowline that I can pull down incrementally and during that process I'll uh, have my uh, safety line over on my left side so that I can get to my chainsaw easily without uh, having interference between my chainsaw and the safety line. 